Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg. Hey, so today I just wanted to go over why I decided to go ahead and buy 200 shares of Cody and well, hopefully I'm pronouncing that, that right. Um, but anyway, right now, as you can see, it's at $6.80. We lost negative 17 cent during the day. After hours, we gained two cent back. And for the most part, the, tr the stock kind of just traded sideways in a sense. It had a small little drop around here going down to 6.68. And you can see that it went up to about 6.81. And we'll kind of scroll through and click on uh, show, uh, show more so that we can really see what was today's lows. 667 was today's lows, $6.95 6 was today's highs. We also see a 52 week high of 11.79 and a 52 week low of 265, right? You have a dividend yield of 7.19 and the opening price was 677, right? They had a volume of 9.26 mil and we'll actually scroll up once again to see that we have a total return of negative $18 or negative 1.31%. Average cost 689. We own 200 shares. Portfolio value is 25.59. So we lost $18 on a deal so far. So how do we really look at this thing? Do we say, oh man, we lost 18 bucks? Um, or are we thinking that this is a long-term play? Well, the way I'm thinking is this is a long-term play. We know that Cody went down to $2 and some change. We're not really worried about that anymore because that was during the height of the pandemic. And we can pretty much go back one year and we can see. This is when the pandemic started and everything just collapsed, right? So we see Cody at one of his lowest areas. We also see when we saw these rises happen or the reverses and it kind of just dropped again. That's when we started learning a little bit more about the pandemic. It was going to take longer to actually recover from. And then we started recovering going up. And then you see right here that it just kept going down, right? And this was around the September. It's probably around October, November time frame, as you can see. These were drops in the stock market as well in terms of uh, points um, inside the market. And since then, Cody's recovered, boom, it's all the way up here. And it's been kind of trading sideways, going around seven, $8 range, um, and just dropping back down into the sixes. As you can see, it usually makes its way back into the sevens and it goes sideways, right? So we're in at 689, it's a pretty good place to be. We obviously can sell right around $7 range, uh, 750 range and even in the eight dollar range um, as you can see right around here it doesn't really give it the best look but 794 so we'll feel comfortable selling around 750 um, but honestly we want to hold this stock until it makes it back up into the eleven dollar range twelve dollar range and why do I say it's gonna make the eleven twelve dollar range because look back five years and you can pretty much see that hey look even in 2018 we had a drop, but it made its way back up. It was $12, $13. We have another drop, taking it down the $8 range, and it came back up. $12 range in a sense, kind of scrolled down, went back up, $12, and then pandemic, right? So we have a chance to hold this stock and make money via trading Cody options because we own 200 shares now, right? So remember, this is the current share price, $6.80. If we decided to do a sell call on Tuesday when the market opens, we'll be able to say, hey, I'm willing to sell at $7, which means I'll make $1,400 if it hits $7 uh, price range and, and if it hits $7 price range and I'll collect $17 in profit times two, which is going to be $34 um, in premium right off the rip. So we'll get $34 in premium plus $1,400 and then we're gonna add the, the difference between the uh, the 1380 or something that I spent on my shares and the $7, which is not much, maybe 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 $10, $20, something like that, quick man. And, um, or we can decide to go right here at $7.50, come out with 1500 for selling the 200 shares, come up with a smaller premium at about $16 because they're gonna be eight uh, cent times two which is 16 cent times 200 which is going to be 16 dollars we can do that or we can go up here to the eight dollar range and say hey we don't think it's going to make eight dollars and we just want to collect this small premium which would give us uh eight dollars and then we can keep on moving and keep our shares right as the price continues to rise but anyway i just want to give you guys a quick video on cody why i purchased it and um 
and why I think it's gonna be going long. And I also will just go ahead and click on my my um, my E-Trade account and show you that E-Trade with their uh, social sentiment right now and the technical research shows that it's gonna go long. Uh, right now it's bullish, 75% bullish. Investors play, 75%. Seeking Alpha at 25%. A couple of other people in terms of uh, analyst research, they say hold, we got equal weight, we got negative, we got sell. You know, it's up to you to figure out what you want to do. I personally am going to be holding this stock until it rises up in price. But anyway, you guys have a great day.